Bianca, woof, what a year 2020 was. Yes, it 35 was. 35 to 40% down, US back to records, Japan back to a record, Europe, well, it's halfway there. What do you think about 2021? Is it, is it gonna be better, gonna be worse, your bull or a bear? How do you see it? Well, let's hope the pandemic is uh, gonna get better and we have vaccinations. But I think you have to be selective. You have to have a look at um, some areas have done really, really well. So probably be cautious there, but overall it's always about looking at what companies you wanna invest in and be selective really. Okay, so I'm gonna take that as bullish, mildly bullish, cautiously bullish. Well, look, I'm German, so I will always be more the neutral part to it. But um, again, yeah, we'll be selective. So you're excited. Yep. Okay. Healthcare, that's your area of expertise. Yes. Consensus trades. We all love consensus trades. We talk each other into it. What's a consensus trade in your area as we go into 2021? I think at the moment the consensus trade is um, mRNA vaccines. So who has made that? Everyone knows it. Moderna, BioNTech. Um, they can repeat it back to me. Um, I think that's a consensus trade. I think you also have a lot of excitement in a couple of biotechs around there. But overall, there is overall, I think biotech is exciting. People now understand it's very important that you should have some exposure to that sector. A consensus meant it's going to go wrong or people are just coming to realise what it is, the excitement about it? I think there will be some people that will be surprised what they hold because I don't think they have done the work. But overall, I think you can find good value in that sector as well. But again, it goes back to being selective. Okay, your head's pounding, something went wrong during 2020. Which stock gave you that thumping headache? Look, in healthcare or in biotech, there's always one that explodes. I had a couple of those as well. But one that gives me a bit of headache is pharma companies. So Sanofi in, in France, that is at the moment not going the right way. So that's a bit of a headache for me at the moment. Well, maybe they can come up with something to fix it. I, I hope so. We all love to say we like this company, we like that, but it's the wrong price. Is there a company in, that you look at globally, wrong price, but if it if fell to a certain price, you'd say, that's when I want to buy it and that's when I want to own it. What stock is that? There's a couple of them, but one of them is for, which I'm very excited about is a company called Berkeley Lights in the US. It's a um, biotech, but it's a company that essentially analyzes single cells. So you want to always know what goes on in one cell rather than in different ones. If you look at cancer, it's made of different cells. Each of them is different, so you want to really know what is going on in each of them, which basically means you have to generate a lot of data, analyze the data, and then really understand what's going on. That company is, I really want to own it, but it has done very well since its listing, so I remain patient and hopefully I'll own it in the future. Okay, so now let's go to 2021 and pick a stock in your field that's not a headache, it's actually gonna make us feel really good about ourselves in 2021 and light up the portfolio. Great, okay, so one of the great themes I'm really interested in is protein engineering. And a lot of, there's a lot of companies, but there's a couple of companies, particular one called Cytomics, which essentially trades almost um, at an EV of zero. Where's that listed? In the US, listed in the US. It's very exciting, it had a lot of news coming up. It makes so-called antibodies that have a, a chemical or warhead attached to it, and that basically guide it to where it should be exploding. And it's very exciting. They have new technology, the way they do it. And over the next 12 months, they will have quite a lot of interesting data coming out, hopefully. Proteins exploding, nothing better than that. That's right.